The Bennett Academy softball team enters the 2024 campaign with optimism. Last season, the Red Wings flew all the way to the 3A State Series, which ended in a third place finish, tied for the best in program history. The path back to state will be a challenge this spring, as the team will be moving up to Class 4A once the state tournament begins next month. Yet, Bennett returns nearly the entire starting lineup, with Taylor Sconza being the only everyday starter lost to graduation. Two of those key players from last season's historic run are back to lock down the middle infield with Gianna Horsch, who plays second base, and younger sister Angela, who plays shortstop. It's so much fun playing with her. We just have like really good communication on the field since we've you know known each other for our entire lives. So just like the communication is really key between us on the field. We're able to like pick each other up and keep each other kind of relaxed on the field, which is always good. So it meant a lot actually. Both of us hitting in the lineup sometimes back to back in the lineup. I think a lot of the times it was good when we one of us did something good. I think it would help motivate the other to do something good and things like that. Gianna, a senior who has played for the Red Wings all four seasons, while Angela, who is entering her junior year, is only playing in her second year on varsity after a back injury kept her on the bench for her freshman season in 2022. It did take some time to adjust. After being injured for a year, I was still getting back at it after a summer season, and it did take some time, but after a few games, I, was, I felt in the right place. In 2023, the sisters combined for over 60 hits over the course of the season, with each batting over 330 to go with 10 total home runs. Angela's return to the Diamond, which earned her a third-team All-State selection, was exciting for the whole family. She was definitely anxious to get back onto the field, which was fun. It was fun going back out there with her, and there were some things that, you know, were, like, difficult to come back to. She had to, like, regain strength and some of her, like, muscles for hitting and throwing and stuff like that, but overall, yeah, she did amazing coming back. She was definitely very supportive just coming off of that injury. Obviously, I wasn't really used to the dynamic playing with high school because that was my first sophomore year was my first time playing high school season. And she helped me adjust a lot because that was her third year playing. Angelo played a key role in the state third place game, tagging out two base runners and scoring the game winning run to win the third place state trophy. With the year of varsity experience under her belt, Angela is ready to take another step forward this spring. When I played with her when I was younger, it was obviously not as competitive and a completely different level. And now playing in high school, we face so much, so many different competition, really good teams. So I think it challenges our relationship on the field and off the field. The Red Wings will be in a tough spot competing in the challenging nearest 4A sectional, where the host Red Hawks are the defending state champs. Moving up to 4A, just the biggest thing is probably the bigger schools that we're going to have to face. But other than that, I think our communication on the field is going to stay the same and we're just going to work and push each other throughout all the games. Regardless of what happens during the postseason, Gianna and Angela will cherish every moment together for the rest of the season before Gianna graduates. I'm going to miss a lot, definitely having her right next to me at second base and like pre-game drives and everything like that. It's gonna be sad when she leaves. Rides to games, after games, on the field together, just when there's little moments for us to talk on the field, picking each other up, just always having her there with me, going out on the field together. It's just been so fun to be with her through all, all of this. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Patrick Cotto.